What's, What's up, up everyone? everyone? It's Danny and Nick and today we're going to be talking about five techniques to help you become a better filmmaker. We just made a video about editing so if you're interested in that we'll leave that link down below but today let's talk about filmmaking. The most important part about being a filmmaker is being a storyteller. You need to be able to tell a story and make it make sense to your viewers. Remember that your viewers were not there in the moment and they might not have ever experienced what your video is about, so you can't leave any missing puzzle pieces out or it won't make sense. For instance, if you are going from one place to the other and you are starting in your house and then you end up in Target and you don't show how you got from place to place, it might not make sense when you're sitting in a room and then you're sitting in a store. You need to show how you got from place to place in order to make your story make sense. Even if it's just a short clip, that goes a long way. The brain works really, really fast, but just including a five to 10 second little clip could make all the difference in the world. Number two, use unique angles to help keep your viewer engaged. You can do this by getting closer to your subject or having a wide angle shot to help establish the scene. Sometimes you're gonna have to lay on the sidewalk and get in uncomfortable positions that you might not normally think of, but that's part of the fun of being a filmmaker. Don't be afraid to experiment with a lot of different types of shots. Along the lines of angles is depth of field. For those of you who don't know what depth of field is, it's when you have a subject and then the background is blurry, kind of like this video. It's really hard to tell a story when you're out and about doing something with all of your shots being a shallow depth of field. You can't be close up to Nicholas's face and have the whole background blurry and try to tell a story. It's just impossible to do. Based on your style that you choose to do and the films that you're making, you might use it more times than not. Just know when you should and shouldn't use it and use it to your advantage to highlight important things and then show the scenes and other things. Number four, learn your camera settings, especially how to shoot on manual. Stop shooting on auto. You have so much more control over the final product when you learn and shoot on those manual settings. To do this, you need to get outside and put yourself in non-optimal lighting scenarios just so that you can see what changing all those different settings does. This is also going to allow you to create your own style. Which brings us to our last and probably the most important point, be yourself and create content that hasn't already been created. Now, saying this doesn't mean that you can't create a video that has a similar topic. What we mean by this is to put your own personality into it and use your own style to not just copy what's already been done. No one wants to see the same video over and over again. The viewers are coming to your channel and your videos because they like your personality and style and they wanna see what you have to offer. So use it to your advantage. Our biggest tip to this point is to create content that you're passionate about. It'll be so easy to create content that you're passionate about and put your own personality in it and be very authentic. So those are our five tips to help you guys become better filmmakers. Don't forget to check out our video on editing if you're interested in that. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. While you're down there, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.